I this struck uh, and this was there in my brain yesterday. Uh, you, you you said about Louis Bunuel and my personal favorite or like you said, my shining star is Bunuel, Louis Bunuel, Aki Kaurosmaki, Belata and Andrei Tarkovsky. So you you was just saying about something in this context about either a social drama or uh, what? Yeah, I thought uh, rather than a social thriller as uh, you have defined it. It's, uh, I, I found it uh, to be um, a psychological thriller, um, something in the vein of uh, Freud's research of the sexual desire yes. that's been hidden due to social constraints. Right. And uh, I think that's what you're doing. You are searching deep inside uh, the members of this family uh, about their most hidden uh, hopes and desires. And also, you take out what people usually hide, which is uh, the genuine hate of the other when you've had enough of uh, the person. Nobody tells you, I've had enough of you, get, get out of my way. But they, they think it, and that's where you are digging. You're digging in this deep stratum where they hide uh, the unconfessable un, uh, uh, things. Yes. Uh, uh, personally, personally, I am uh, very intrigued by human relationships, and I find it very farcical. Yeah. Very farcical, you see. Uh, but it needs to be that way. It needs you know to be the that famous uh, American smile. You feel good when somebody smiles at you, even if it's a professional smile. It is. Uh, but other than that, uh, you need to find a medium ground in social relations. Otherwise, we'd kill each other. Or, yes, of course. Or kiss each other to death. Kiss each other to. We are always suffocating each other in relationships. Personally, I I strongly believe I'm seeking love myself. But have uh, you found it? Uh, I don't know. Not really. You know what? We have a great poet, uh, the greatest Romanian poet, who, whose name is Eminescu, and he used to say, uh, this woman is, or this man is not looking for uh, a person to fall in love with. They are looking for love itself. They are looking for, absolutely, uh, yes. this is what I'm looking for. And uh, uh, most importantly, you know, uh, the moment I fall in love with that person yes. is the exact moment I fall out of love with that person. That's true. And that's a, um, in, uh, that's a go and go in and go out process. Yes. Uh, it's, I think this is a disease with me because when I fall in love with the person, I end up looking into the soul where I should not be looking into. Yeah. And uh, it shows me the worms, it shows me the crawling insects. You know, uh, the choices for me would have either to become a uh, criminal or a uh, lunatic. So as long as I am being allowed to make cinema, uh -huh. I think uh, I do not end up in either of these places. So it's therapeutic, it's a therapy. Uh, of, it's primarily a therapy for me. And so uh, the pain of Bunuel and the starkness of Kaurosmaki or the complete cruelty of... Uh, of uh, Bellata and uh, the uh, the spirituality of uh, Tarkovsky. Uh, I have taken snippets from each of them yes. and chewed them here. It shows. It shows in your. Uh, in, it shows in your movie. Uh, it's uh, the, the 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 intellectual product of somebody who's a cultured person. You do know. Uh, the the filmmakers that you're talking about, and you know it, you know even more than that. Thank and, you. And you you know what they used to say: culture can be read on somebody's face. So does your film. I can reach. I can read culture in your uh, cinematic product. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, uh, mostly, this has been a conversation, but between you and me. But I'm more intrigued. I wanted to hear a few snippets, maybe your thoughts on personally me, because I understood somewhere, talking to you yesterday and more today, I was having this feeling deep inside my belly 
that you could see me in and out and that's where I wanted to provoke you to... Uh, I'm not sure I could do that. It's, it's, I think you're projecting uh, an image on me that uh, I'm not uh, at the level to, to respond. Maybe you, you have... I don't know you. I know the film. If the film is you, then I do know you. I think in parts I am... Yes, a, it's part But I'm not the sum of my parts. Of course. Hopefully. I am not Hopefully the sum of our yes. parts. parts. Yes, I am not the sum of my We're parts. More I am, that. I'm more than that. And I'm a sum of parts. And it's uh, by choice. And it was never a compulsion. It's by choice. Sometimes I play the villain of the piece. Not metaphorically, but in reality. I play the villain of the piece. Sometimes I become the savior. Sometimes I'm the sinner. You know, uh, and recently... Uh, I, by the way, I would like to present you my... A book that has been written on my cinema mm -hmm. is there at the hotel. I would bring it to you by you. one of uh, India's uh, topmost uh, film journalist and critic. And uh, the purpose of coming to Romania, like I said, you can use this opportunity to buy a ticket and have a two hours snore. Yes. And uh, I don't care. I really don't care. Um, metaphorically, also coming to Babel was great, great achievement personally for me. But, you know, at a stage where I'm making films, I really don't care about anything. You don't care about them? I could don't care about anything, really. You don't care about anything? You're that person, then? Yes, personally, I don't care about anything. So, like I said, I can say you can fart in my movie, you can dig your nose, you can sleep, yeah. you can do anything. I don't care. Oh, I made a movie for my therapy. You don't care in that sense. Yeah. I don't care in that sense, yeah. because I made a movie for my therapy. Yeah. And uh, you're lucky that you're lucky that you've got the the means to because it's not it's not uh, well it's not the way you do movies it's not that uh, expensive. No, but, it's uh, not. So you can afford to do this. Uh, no, if uh, uh, theoretically I would have made a Hollywood movie, I would have maybe turned it upside down. And I want to turn it upside uh, down. Then the producers wouldn't have uh, financed your uh, film. No, after maybe that that would be the last movie that I would do yeah, with them. Yeah. And they would have the last word. They would cut whatever they... Censorship is... Uh, even if it's economic, uh, political, uh, I don't know, culture, censorship is the same everywhere. Uh, yes, I understand. Uh, so how did you find the music of the movie? Um, I, I found it very expressive. I don't know, was it uh, written for the movie? Or? It was written for the movie. It was yes. written for the movie, yes. Uh, it uh, replaces the word. Yes. Uh, and it uh, expresses uh, either the, the psychological uh, tension yes. or uh, the fright of the moment. Because the fright of the moment, yes. We are talking about the thriller, so I found it very expressive. And my last question to you on this, um, uh, you mentioned about the static shots. So the editing was, of course, uh, decided by me. My editor just executed it. Yes. So how do you find the editing of the movie? I found it interesting, but, but there is always a but. You yes. Know? Um, I thought the insistence on certain uh, close-ups, okay. the length of the, of the uh, close ups was a little bit too long that's why the, that the could movie... have been avoided you mean to say excuse me uh, that could have been avoided you mean to yes, say yes you could have made it like uh, an hour and 45 minutes or so okay uh, and then you would avoid the, the the risk of people falling asleep as you mentioned yes uh, and uh, you need to go i need to go and yeah. uh, but i have a say on this which is like the purpose is, uh, I want it to be this to be an endless conversation. The movie has to be an endless conversation. This particular movie. Yes. Uh, because uh, I did, this, this has no drama, typically. So it has no beginning, no end. Sure. And that's how it. And thank you so much for... Thank you very much.